Last week, Will and I were having an argument about how there is no such thing as a bad van anymore. He seems to think there is. Because I was testing them in the 90s. Well, to prove his point, he's bet me 50 quid that we can't find two vans for less than 500 pounds. We found two and we've brought them here where we're going to put them through a series of stereotypical white van man tests. The winner of the most tests gets the 50 quid. Here's the twist though, we've both bought each other's vans. Right Will, put this on and I'll call your van in. Okay. Come on. Any ideas what it might be? It sounds rough. Maybe an old Peugeot. Oh no. I was dreading one of those. They were rubbish in the 70s. They really shouldn't have carried on to 2005 or whenever it was. I knew you'd like it. Right, I've got you a 1998 LDV Pilot. Yeah. I absolutely hate these things. So do I. I spent so much time in one at school in the back of a minibus and it was always breaking down. Whatever you've got me can't be as bad as this. Uh, you know what, I think you might be right. <laughs> Oh my God, you got me a camper van, look. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's bought at auction, so, you know. You someone's been living in here, it stinks. It looks like someone's died in here as well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the worst bit. See inside here, this is absolutely horrendous. It doesn't go very fast either. Oh no. Oh, the smell. Come and have a sit in it as well, Will. You're gonna love this interior. Look at that. Oh no. I'm glad my tetanus is up to date. Look at the, the footwell. You're so fat, I'm surprised you fit in there. The wheel arch just takes up the whole space where your foot's meant to go. Oh, nice stereo. Oh, this is truly horrific. Well, I'm glad you're suitably impressed. I've got one last present for you. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Right. My turn. Put that on. Bring that piece of shit out here! Can I look? Yeah. Dare I look? It's in 2003 Vauxhall Combo. It doesn't look so bad. No, but um, it is. And you haven't driven it yet. The engine is decidedly dodgy. In fact, uh, everything's decidedly dodgy. Have a look around, see what you think. That doesn't fit. No, quite a few panels don't fit. It's an insurance write-off, category D. A uh, mirror! It's got no mirror! Yeah, it's a nice touch, isn't it? <laughs> What's happened here? Yeah, no trim. Panels are different colours as well, different shades of white. Someone's had a go with the emulsion with that, haven't they? What's it like inside, then? Horrific. Oh! Oh, what is this? Yeah, the steering wheel is rather sticky. In fact, everything's a bit sticky. Oh, that's really horrible. And all this crap as well. I know. I was scared to, to open that. It looks like a body part. Oh, God. That yeah. will come in handy. It's a Corsa, yeah, I know. Yeah, this is it's horrendous. A bunch of fags as well. It's not going to be too bad, though, is it? I mean, it's... Yeah, you haven't driven it yet. There's a very good reason why it only costs 500 quid. What could go wrong? It's going to be fine. Don't worry. Let's see what's in the back, then. Oh, well, that door's not going to open, the handle's broken, but um, I found my wheel trim, at least. Am I going to fit, George? You've got loads of room, mate, loads. You'll be fine. Sure? Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Will, you dropped a bit, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Our first test is to see just how much crap we can fit on the dashboard. Or well, more to the point, how much will stay there by the end of the day. George, don't forget your jazz mag. Oh yeah. <laughs> I haven't got a chance in hell of winning a drag race in an LDV pilot. Oh yes, he's got him away from the light. Come and on. he's off. I'm not going to catch him. Oh. oh, proper flat spot on the engine. Oh, come on! I don't believe it. 
God, there's no power. Where's he going? Oh, he's going to get me. Yes, come on. Oh, you come on. Oh, there's just no power in the middle of it. Seven, sixty-eight. Oh, it's gonna do seventy. It has done seventy. Sixty, sixty-five. Oh, gonna dare I change? Yeah, I can go for another one. Seven, nearly. Oh, uh, not quite. Seventy-two. Got it shaking a bit. Seventy-five. That's it. It didn't like that. Okay, we're going to test the braking. Hands off the steering wheel, 45 miles an hour. Let's see if it stays in a straight line. I suspect not. Ready? Three, two, one. God. No, it was all over the place. That was a bit frightening. So I'm about to start my braking test. Will seems to think it's a good idea to do this from 45 miles an hour. And I'm really not so sure. But we'll see how it goes. Can't be as bad as his anyway. I think this has got ABS. Certainly young enough to have it, but we'll see. So hands off and slam on the brakes. This will be fun. Ready? Hold tight. <laughs> that didn't go too badly. Your skid marks are quite impressive there, Will. And the ones in my boxer shorts are even more impressive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, I don't want to stereotype, but van drivers have a certain reputation for tailgating. So this test is all about seeing how close we can get to the vehicle in front without actually touching it. It's gonna to be hard because the LDV's got a big step that I can't really see. Let's give it a go. Come on, get out of the way! Vans need to be agile, they need to be able to slip in and out of traffic, so we're testing the handling now. This one's against the clock. Okay. It doesn't help that it's starting on a hill. This van is not built for bends. What the hell was that? It came from the back. This should be where I beat Will, but I've got major doubts about the engine in this van. Let's go. Oh, see, straight away. There's just no power between 2000 and 3000. There we go, right. Over the brow of this hill, come on. There we go, right. And I think I need to just stay in second gear, just keep it in this rev range here. Over the hill. There's just no power, come on. Big braking. There we go. There, the handling's gonna be way better on this thing. Look at the proper on the apex there. Gotta beat Will, gotta beat Will. I'm amazed both vehicles have survived all of those tests. And if I'm honest, I'm not really a fan of my Vauxhall. It understeers massively, it has no power, 
and it's just generally a bit rubbish. But what do you expect for 500 pounds? Anyway, let's see what Will's uh, up to with his. What was that about? For ruining my roof bars, they were going to go on eBay. Let's figure out who's won then. Okay, well, incredibly, I think I got the traffic light one and the top speed was definitely mine. Yeah, I, I definitely won the braking. Yeah, I'll give you that. And I'm claiming the, uh, the tailgating too. Uh, I think I was closer than you. Well, you hit me though. That's pretty close. <laughs> right, now, fair enough, right, you've got that, you've okay. got that. So that's 2-2 two, two, then. So, all down to the agility test. Let's find out what the times were then. I think it's going to be pretty close. Yes. <laughs> you won that, fair and square. I'll give you that. Yeah, well done. Oh, 50 quid. Yeah. Well, I think it's a fair result. It is a decent van and it is a lot younger than yours, so. It's got a few dents though. So we've proved today that you can buy a van for 500 quid that works, well, sort of anyway, but you wouldn't really want to. I think the main thing we've learned is that technology has just come on in leaps and bounds over the last decade or so. These vans feel so prehistoric.